everyone and welcome to the Behind Enemy Lines YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making roads. Flexible, simple roads. Now these roads are going to take about 5 minutes to make per foot. That doesn't include painting and flocking which we won't show in this video because it does take a long time to uh, dry. A couple hours at most. So we're going to need some things. Uh, this is the thing here. It's a rubber sealant called uh, damp proof coursing I got 30 meters of this for about yeah $30 that's 98 feet of the stuff so you'd never run out of road uh, you're gonna need a popsicle stick for your smushing your knife for you cut enough of roads won't need that now you obviously need to cut the road it's already done and this is some caulking now the caulking is what makes the road you can see that the rubber has those little uh, funnels in it it's used in building to redirect water so it doesn't go into your floor but goes elsewhere in the dwelling. I, I don't know. I read about it. It was interesting. So what I'm doing is I'm going in a uh, tight S formation here and uh, trying to get my caulking as uh, neat as possible. Uh, you don't have to be neat um, unless you want cork on your table, which I obviously do. Uh, now the reason there is cork on the table from before is I've already recorded this video and the record did not work. So I'm doing it again. Uh, so now I have two feet of road plus the other ones. So it does not take long at all. The longest part is waiting for it to dry. So what I'm going to do is just going to keep this S pattern as much as possible. Then I'm going to come back and do two big lines down the edges. Because the edges I want to be slightly more raised on a dirt road just due to the fact that uh, wheels, cart wheels, horse, cart, horse, warrior, legions, all that jazz. I uh, wouldn't normally walk on the side of the road to walk down the middle of the road. And there's two lanes. Now, this is about mm, three inches wide, give or take, which is quite good for, um, what's the word? Uh, Flames of War, you've got a two-lane road there. You can fit a tiger on it, no problem. Uh, and a bolt action, it just looks like a single-lane country road. Um, now here's where that popsicle stick comes in handy and because of those little rippy runnel things that are used I guess for wicking away water um, it helps the grout what is this stuff some sort of poly filler type crap hmm good description Daniel uh, it, it just goes into the little little diamond shapes patterns they have there um, I always leave a bit up there to hold it with my finger out so it starts lifting off the table. And you just want to pull it down and across. You want to make it look as natural, I guess, as you can for a dirt road. Remember, a dirt road is not going to be perfect. You're not going to get a cobblestone road out of this. You're not going to get um, some blacktop. I mean, you could get some blacktop out of this if you were just to make it in one long, smooth go and paint it like a um, grey, like a cheap asphalt kind of look to it but what we're we going for here is um the dirt road look so i'm just smoothing out my mistakes there so all the long lines here we go smoothing that out bringing it down now this is a very quick process it's not hard to do um, like i said at the start you're going to be knocking this out in days and days in like minutes so this video is like well four minutes long and most of that is just me behind the camera trying to do it delicately and there you have it that's the right and watch how flexible it is so we can bend it all the way back around boom and it goes back to being flat it goes over hills it's fine it's a really cool product um, hopefully you have the stamp proof coursing I just painted with poster paint um, if you don't have that in your country, um, look for it in Australia or New Zealand and Bunnings. Um, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching and good luck building your roads. Goodbye for now.